So uh, we, you've seen a, a bit about what Synod Drive is. So it's based on Nextcloud, and we have um, storage in S3. We have about uh, 250 terabytes of research data, 20 universities, 54 instances, and all of that stuff that we talked about. And one of our things that we uh, want to do is to be a, like a one-stop shop or a, an academic toolbox for researchers. So uh, right now they can use uh, our Nextcloud setup to store their research data, but we also want them to be able to uh, process their data there and then publish their uh, research data. Uh, so that's what we are working on. So one of the things that we want to integrate is Jupyter Hub. So Jupyter Hub gives you an opportunity to uh, have a Jupyter notebook in the in the browser, where you can uh, write, uh, for example, Python code um, on data on your system. So you you can uh, do this in a single Docker container, or you can uh, run it on a huge GPU cluster with Apache Spark or uh, something like this. So uh, basically, Jupyter Hub is uh, an existing thing which manages all of this for you. And they have a, a Kubernetes operator, um, which uh, we looked at and we integrated into to Nextcloud. So I set up Jupyter Hub. Uh, I wrote a, a Nextcloud app, which can display the interface within Nextcloud. Uh, I integrated the login using OpenID Connect. So you log into Jupyter Hub uh, using your Nextcloud account. So w basically, when you click on the app button, uh, you will see this. Um, you will get the grant authorization button within the Nextcloud interface. And then I also set up syncing uh, we, we OAuth tokens. So your Nextcloud files are synced into the container where Jupyter uh, Notebook is running, so you have your Nextcloud files available. And I have a little demo of this. So here you can see I log in uh, using single sign-on uh, in the global scale setup, and I'm redirected to my instance. So I have all my Nextcloud files here. Um, and here's a folder, it's nothing special, it's just an empty folder which I opted to call Jupyter, and it's empty there. I click on the Jupyter Notebook app, uh, and I log in, and I grant access, and then I get the Jupyter Hub uh, interface, and I'm logged in as my next cloud user. Uh, start the, this spawns a Docker container in Kubernetes, um, which uh, is able to run Jupyter Notebooks. And you can see all of my files here. This is the empty folder I showed you. I create a, a notebook there. And I uh, write some wonderful Python code. Uh, and I can run it here in the interface. I can save my files. And then I can go back to the Files app. And we can look in our folder, and there is our Jupyter Notebook. So there's a two-way uh, sync uh, between the, the two. Yes, so yeah, uh, that's basically it. Uh, you can uh, uh, email me at conrad.se if you have any questions. Thanks. Uh.